What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the vlog. This is week 24. That's a lot of weeks. That's like almost six months if you do the mathematics. It is Friday, August 25th. It's my birthday. And I can't believe Action Bronson dropped his album on my birthday for me. He told me he did that for me. He's such a good guy. Highly recommend you listen to Blue Chip 7000. New Action Bronson album out now in stores on iTunes, on Spotify, on SoundCloud. Check my SoundCloud link. It's in my bio. I turned 25 today. I almost had an anxiety attack last night. I never have like anxiety attacks or like panic attacks, but last night when I laid down to sleep, I don't know. Something about turning 25 really kind of fudged my head up. Whatever, just another year. I feel like you're supposed to be so old at 25, but I feel so young. For you young folks, stay young forever. I got my registration done for my car this morning. It's my license picture I took when I was like 17 and that shit is like the most embarrassing piece of identification you could possibly walk around with. I look like a little girl in my 17 year old license picture. I went to the gym this morning. It might have been the longest break from the gym I've ever, uh, that I've taken in maybe the last five years. Like I didn't work out at all when I was in California. I didn't work out either these last two days when I got back. So I went this morning. I just did like a, a random full body workout. I typed in like functional, strength functional training because I'm trying to get more into not just like typical bodybuilding workouts and stuff when I do workouts. I want to get more into functional training because you know it's better for just like everyday life and, and you do weight movements that are more relevant to you just like living you know what i mean like they're more for your core balance mobility strength in muscles that you know you hit all the muscles when you're doing these workouts so stuff like uh take like dumbbells and do squats with them and on the way up you're doing shoulder presses and then push-ups with a with a row when you come up on the push-up and that's also a good type of workout to do if you take a long break and you do a workout like that because you're not really killing any of the muscle groups like if you're just doing push-ups with a back row like your chest is not going to be super sore from just doing push-ups as opposed to like doing a full chest workout after taking like two or three weeks off. Yeah, this is probably the longest break I've taken from the gym since maybe like freshman year of college. So I've just been working very, very, very hard on getting out content. Maybe that's why I haven't had that much motivation to go to the gym, because I know that this needs to get done. Going to get the new license, and then I'm going to post back up at Starbucks. I was there for like 10 straight hours yesterday, last night. Don't matter that it's my birthday. There's things to be done. I'm 25. Really should stop celebrating your birthday at, at like this age. But tomorrow I will celebrate, which is Saturday. We're going into the city. We're going to go some uh, some tiki bar. It's like a, a rooftop bar in New York City. A lot of my friends should be going. It should be a lot of fun. Anyways, welcome back to the vlog episodes. And I'll see you all in the next clip. Saturday morning. I'm literally running around my house right now. I'm hustling, physically hustling my ass off because I'm going to New York City today to celebrate the birthday and I have a train in about an hour and a half, but two big injuries happened in fantasy football last night and I need to get out videos for them and I should have uh, I should have done it last night, but I didn't do it. And now I'm hustling because think about when you're covering fantasy football, things happen on on the snap. You know, when you're doing YouTube, you can't like just write a post and get it out there. You gotta get the information, do a video, upload the video, edit it, all that kind of stuff. So it takes way longer. So I don't know if I'm gonna get this out. I'm in crunch time right now. Sorry, I'm talking so fast. Also, I had a really, really, really good business call yesterday that I want to tell you guys about. I swear, I'm doing spin moves around my house and shit to get to like my charger. It's just out of control right now, but I just wanted to show y'all like the hustle we're putting in over here how we live in oh man yesterday was awesome i had a lot of fun group of probably like 10 to 12 people went to this place called tiki taboo it's like a rooftop bar in the city and then we hopped over to another place afterwards i don't know it was just, it got real reckless real quick a lot of margs i think our tab came out to about a thousand dollars I'm not even exaggerating that to be honest. It's Sunday morning, not even the morning. I took an Uber. I took a cab home in this from the city by myself at like 3 a.m. Cost me a hundred dollars. I literally just whipped that hundred dollar bill. I walked into a cab and I was like, "Take me to Emerson, New Jersey." The cab was like, "Bet, said bet," and then we were off. So now we're just like recovering. We're recuperating, recapping the night. You know the best part about going out always the day after recapping the shit that happens. Always my favorite part. There is just so many ridiculous things that happen. My one friend, we were at the last bar. It might have been like midnight at this point. <laughs> like fell over a table knocked and knocked the entire table over and like 40 people's drinks and then he was leaving and he punched my friend in his head so my friend punched him back and then my friend got a got a we were drinking marg margaritas out of uh, out of a glass and he went to get the glass to break it over his head because they were both gone but his girlfriend thankfully grabbed his arm so he didn't do it and then we are all on the a phone call this morning i was three <laughs> 
and just cracking up about it. Like my stuff, like it was hurting. I was laughing to the point where my stomach felt like it was about to fall off. I know that's like sounds really intense. Like we don't, that's not like a normal thing with my group friends. We don't like break bottles over each other's head, but I'm thinking about my two friends because I know them so closely if it happened. I think I even would have laughed at the time. I don't know how. <laughs> I'm cracking up just thinking about it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get some iced coffee and then I think Brandon and Steve, this is a weird camera angle. Brandon and Steve are gonna come over, we're gonna watch. This is just gonna be one of those POS Sundays. This is like a confessional cam. It's like, yo, I saw Steve and Heather in the bathroom last night. I don't like that. I know she was with Scotty. All right, I'm done with that. I feel like I'm on the real world. We're gonna watch Power, and then we got the season finale of Game of Thrones. Yo, last episode was wild. That was a, such a good fight scene. Jon Snow and Khaleesi are definitely going to Pound Town tonight. I hope they show some boobies. I love this poster. I don't even know why I'm videotaping this right now. None of this makes sense. I'm gonna get iced coffee. I'm gonna get my day started at two o'clock. Don't be like me. Why am I like this? I can't wait for Mark season to be over. Tuesday morning, around 11. A few updates on my life I wanted to get at you. First of all, I want to say thank you to anyone who purchased the draft guide for fantasy football. It was a great success. I'm hearing a lot of good feedback, and I kind of wanted to, just because I'm always transparent with this kind of stuff, just show you the behind the scenes, how much money I made off of it, what I charge and stuff. So anyone who bought it, obviously, I charged $4.99 for it. It was like a 50-page e-magazine PDF download, as well as me continually emailing updated rankings throughout the preseason. As of right now, and I still have orders coming in, uh, like three, four, five, maybe even more per day of the draft guide. But since I released it two weeks ago, we've had 103 purchases. So priced at $4.99 a pop, a little side revenue there. That is very cool. And I'm really glad you guys enjoyed it if you did. I'm honestly already excited for next to do it next year. I'm gonna do it way bigger, way better. To learn from these things. This is the first one I've ever done, the first time I've ever did anything like that. Again, big thank you to anyone who, who purchased. Numero two, I had a watch brand reach out to me called Sleek Supply. So I'm actually partnering up with this watch brand. It's like affiliate marketing. So they're gonna send me a watch. They're gonna give me my own custom promo code and I can give that out to you guys. I don't remember if it was $20 off or 20% off, but they're $100 watches anyway, so I guess it's kind of the same price either way. I'm deciding which watch I want to grab. I kind of like this one on the top left. I don't know, that's more my style. I don't really want to get an all black one. Probably grab this one. So yeah, it's basically like affiliate marketing. They send it to me. I get a custom promo code that I can give out to you guys. Now, I know this is like a, a very good style nowadays. Very plain, very minimal, very stylistic and sleek. I guess that works because their their company's called Sleek Supply. So I'm, I'm very happy to be partnered up with them. It's going to be a cool relationship as we build. Hopefully a couple of you guys will grab some of the watches because I do think they're a great product. From what I can see on the computer, I'll definitely have more info for you when I get the watch in hand. That's pretty cool. And update number three is I had a company reach out to me. They are, well, they're a remote based company. Everyone that works for the company is completely remote and they're looking for someone that runs Facebook, Instagram ads as like a specialist for their team. So I was thinking like, you know, I don't want to, obviously I'm not looking to join a company. I'm not looking to be employed by a company, but what they do is they hire free Freelancers. So I am completely independent contracted by them. So I'm not their employee. I just work with them. So basically, they are a team of remote workers that can handle like anything for a business. So long story short, they're like the middleman for clients. So I could do the skill or the marketing for the client. They basically just get the client and communicate a lot with them. So for me, it kind of cuts out a lot of the, the stuff that, not that I have trouble with, but a lot of the stuff that takes more time and doesn't necessarily give good return. So for me, this is a great opportunity. It's perfect for a freelancer, perfect for someone looking to make more money on the side. And the reason I am going to be joining them or, or working with them is because the money is very good, which is awesome, of course. I don't wanna really get into details, but just trust me when I say it is good money. So I have like an orientation because I need to learn how to use their software. It's actually next Monday, I think, which sucks because it's on Labor Day Monday. And I have my big E-Town get down fantasy football draft on that Monday, but I think it's earlier in the afternoon, so it won't really affect anything. Those are the updates on my life. We have the watch partnership, the, the freelance opportunity, and the draft guide. Just wanted to check in with y'all and give you that information. I'm gonna head to the gym because I, I think I've been to the gym maybe like five times all of August. I've just been working so much and I haven't been able to get around to going to the gym. Plus I was you know, traveling in California, so fitness is kind of taking a backseat priority-wise, which is not a good thing. I hate that because it's always been since I have sophomore, junior year in college, like three, four, five years now. It's always been a big priority of mine, and it really keeps me sharp mentally when I'm on a good gym flow. And when I get off of that, I don't know, I kind of not not that things like slip apart, or I just feel a lot better when I'm in a good cycle. But summer's coming to a close, so I kind of feel like pre-draft for fantasy football is coming to a close. That 
that whole season and then summer's kind of coming to a close so a lot less like craziness on the weekends it's been a good summer it's been fun a lot of hard work it's just been a good ride so just thank you anyone who has supported anyone who has commented reached out emailed anything Love y'all. So it's Thursday right now, August 31st, last day of August. It's been a kind of hectic morning. It's almost noon right now. I have a business call at noon. I just finished shooting, editing up a video, or I'm in the process of editing it, but I have a call in five minutes with a potential client, so I've been prepping for that as well this morning. I also have to get my new license because it expires today. I have to get fitted for a tuxedo because I'm in my cousin's wedding in about a month. So I have a busy ass day today. I don't know why I saved all this for today. But yeah, this potential client call, getting on with his business partner as well as his brother, I think. They are a shipping service. They offer small businesses like people that sell on, on e-commerce sites. If you're a small business owner, you don't sell that many products. A company like USPS, UPS, FedEx is not gonna give you volume bulking prices. They're not gonna give you a good discount. This is a product that, or a service that works with those small business owners to get you the best shipping. So we're just, uh, we're just hustling over here at the HQ, baby. I gotta wrap up this video. I wanna give you the final count for my YouTube channel has been going crazy right now. I've gotten about 500 new subscribers in the last two days. I'm gonna have a nice fat paycheck from YouTube. It's gonna be a nice. So we hit 3,000 subscribers way earlier than my goal. I thought I was gonna hit it by end of September. A shout out to Pete Rowe, shout out to A-Rod, shout out to Al Kiner, shout out to Ricky Henderson, everyone that's in the 3,000 hit club. All my videos have been for you. Just check Shopify right quick. If you're using an e-commerce platform, I switched my e-commerce platform over from Wix to Shopify. That shit's just way easier. I do have to pay decent amount per month for it, which kind of sucks, but figure as my YouTube channel grows, I'll get a lot more purchases. So overall, what did we finish with? 128 purchases of the draft guide. There will probably be more this weekend because people will be drafting throughout the weekend. About 130 times it by five. I made a quick penny there. That is awesome. That is awesome. You got a diverse Diversify the revenue, baby. So that's gonna wrap up this video. I didn't do a lot of behind the scenes, I guess, but this upcoming week, what do we got going this upcoming week? We got Labor Day weekend, so I'll be going, oh my God, finally, Mark season is eventually gonna be over. Ain't it funny how Mark season ends and then cuffing season begins? For all you little playboys out there, they're intertwined. I appreciate you sticking around this long. Again, as always, every Saturday, I'll be back with my business vlog. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Next week actually officially kicks off the NFL season. I'll see y'all next time.